أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم زمزم of spiritual knowledge excerpts from the teachings of Shaykh Sidi Muhammad Fawzi al-Karkari What is Jalal? Truly The concept of Jalal is not what the disciple believes it to be Jalal is not just the trials we experience in the transient world Knowing that you are transient that the world you inhabit is transient and that the transient essentially does not exist in truth these trials are not existent They are merely illusions. This is the reality. Therefore, where is the trial? Where is the jalal? Here in this world, there is no jalal. True jalal is to be consumed by the light. This light must burn the disciple so profoundly that he no longer feels his own soul. He who truly experiences this state will come to understand the real jamal. Consider Sayyiduna Ibrahim salam as an example. Without his annihilation or fana in Allah Jalla Jalala, he would not have willingly entered the fire his people had prepared for him. If he had viewed these trials as Jalal, he would have avoided them. His fana in Allah Jalla Jalala was so complete that when he was cast into the fire, the fire itself was consumed by the annihilation and Jalal of Ibrahim salam. This fire has become a mere atom in the reality of Ibrahim salam. Since love is Jalal, its essence is like a fire. Ibrahim became the true embodiment of the fire of love. The physical fire did nothing but extinguish itself in the fire of Ibrahim salam. This very fire is the source of all Jamal, found in the Malakut of Allah Jalla Jalala. It is the light through which celestial manifestations are revealed to the disciple during his dhikr. True Jalal is being struck by light and losing all sense of existence. All the trials a disciple faces in this life are as previously stated and reiterated are transient, and an illusion can be neither Jalal or Jamal. What is the difference between a prophet, a messenger, and a wali? A messenger or emissary, Rasul, is someone who brings a divine message for the people of his era. This message contains new laws from Allah Jalla Jalala and known as Sharia. From this message, the messenger reveals the station of religion, Islam, Iman, or faith, and Ihsan, perfection. The Sharia may be directed either towards a specific people or towards all humanity. A prophet, or Nabi, is the one who reminds people of the message of the preceding messenger, addressing those who have deviated from the right path. He restores them to order, yet always operates under the auspices of the messenger who came before him. Wilaya, unlike the other two, is directed towards a specific group of people who believe in the latest message of their time, the faithful, or al-mu'minun. The role of the wali is to guide believers from the darkness of their nafs to the light of the real, al-haq. A messenger is both a wali and a prophet. A prophet is a wali but not a messenger, and a wali is neither a messenger nor a prophet.